The Judy arrives in one box. The first step is to inventory the panels to ensure all the pieces are present. You can choose to label your pieces with a sticky note. Open the hardware box and organize your pieces. Check to make sure everything is present. Attach the casters to panel B using the enclosed wrench. Caster washer, then caster, placing the locking casters to the front. Flip the panel over and attach four cam bolts. Set panel B aside. Place four cam locks into each panel D and C. Make sure the plus minus on the cam lock is facing the edge of the panel. This will have the cam lock in the open position for when we go to attach the cabinet shelf. Insert four wood dowel pins into the edges of panel D. Attach the right lifter rail onto panel D using three 4x14 four screws. Attach your magnet to panel D using two 5x5 five five inch pan head screws. Insert four wood dowel pins into the edges of panel C. Attach the left lifter rail onto panel C using three 4x14 four screws. Set panels D and C aside. Insert two wood dowel pins into the edges of each panel E. Use a mallet to tap the dowels into the panels as far as they will go. Connect panels C, D, and E to make the cabinet shelf. Attach the E panels to panels D and C by inserting the wood dowel on panel E into the corresponding holes on panels D and C. Using 10 by 60 millimeter screws, attach panel E pieces to panels D and C. You can use styrofoam from the packaging to prop the cabinet up as you screw in the 10 by 60 millimeter screws to help with drilling in the screws. Gently tap the cover caps into place over the heads of the 10 by 60 millimeter screws. Attach the bottom panel B to the cabinet shell by inserting the cam bolts on panel B into the corresponding holes in the edges of panels D and C. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, secure panel B to panels D and C by turning the four cam locks 180 degrees. Flip the cabinet right side up and set aside. Don't forget about how great ergonomics can enhance your sewing sessions. The Aero Hydraulic Sewing Chair is the most comfortable chair, and it allows you to sew for hours without end. It's the number one rated sewing chair in America. Watch this video to get more information. For information about installing your hydraulic lift, we have provided a short video above. You can also access it in the description below. Attach four cam bolts onto the top panel A. Attach panel A onto the cabinet shell. 
Secure the top panel on the cabinet by turning the cam locks 180 degrees. Do not open the top leaf until the cabinet is completely assembled to avoid any damage. Attach the magnet strike plate to the door panel, part K, using the 5 by 3 8 inch brass flathead screw. Attach the caster bracket to the K panel using four 4 by 14 screws. Attach flush hinges to panel K using 4 by 14 screws. Attach four cam bolts onto panel K. Attach the handle to panel K using two fix bolts. Screw in the caster into the caster bracket using the provided wrench. Attach the hinges on the door panel K to the cabinet shell using four by 14 screws. You can use styrofoam from the packaging to help support the door as you drill in the screws. Insert four 10 millimeter cam locks into each panel I. Make sure the arrow on the cam lock is pointing to the edge of the panel. Attach four cam bolts into panel H. Insert seven wood dowel pins into the edges of panel J. Attach the two I panels to panel J. Attach panel H to panels I and J. Tighten cam locks by turning them 180 degrees. Apply four C2 cam covers to the cam locks nearest to panel H. Attach the door bin assembly, panels I, H, and J, to the inside of the door and tighten the cam locks by turning them 180 degrees. Apply four C2 cam covers to the cam locks. The cabinet is assembled. Happy sewing!